On this week's World of Saltwater Fishing, we had the Mark VI back off Key West in the fabulous Florida Keys. I'll be teaming up with good friend Captain Mark Schmidt, and we're going to make a long run to the west to cash in on a red-hot yellowtail snapper bite. Oh, Woo! Yeah, baby! Mark! All right, brother. You got the monster snappers figured out, don't you? For this second, I do, but you know how that goes. <laughs> and there's some hogs back there, George. And you just, we put another one up to the tally. Or I like to say, fabulous Florida Keys Yellowtail, the flag. They are. Stick with us. It's going to be one exciting episode. George Bover almost world of saltwater fishing, celebrating 21 years of fishing television excellence. Big fish don't stand a chance. When you look at Key West and the Florida Keys, the varied fishing opportunities that you have here, then you throw in a very good friend for a number of decades, even though we're aging both of ourselves here, Captain Mark Schmidt, you know it's gonna be an excellent time. It's always tough for me to plan something when, when I'm fishing with George because we've known each other for so long and we've done just about everything there is to do. So it's, I'm always looking to try to do something different. This trip we decided we were gonna bang the deep wrecks, we were gonna do some jigging, see what we could find on the deep wrecks, come back into the reef, see what was happening there with you know Yellow Tarot as our primary target. So here we were once again off of Key West. I had the Mark VI at the Stock Island Marina Village. I was based out of the Perry Hotel and we were set to experience some of Key West's finest fishing during the latter part of summer. In Key West, you pretty much have to be set for everything. Down here, opportunities can present themselves rather quickly. So even though we had a goal, and the first stop was to hit some of the wrecks right offshore of Key West, to drop down some live baits, as well as jig for any fish that might be holding around them. So we were, we were mixing it up. You know, one of us was using a flutter jig, one of us was dropping pinfish down. You hit? Nope. Yep. yep. All right. Take it to it. And it didn't take long, we started to connect with Juvenile Amberjack. It's 300 feet. You're trying to go with the lightest jig to get that kind of depth, so it overloading it. So what are the subtleties to know that you've hit the bottom? Normally, it, it, it like stops, but we're here with the current. And... Yeah, and a lot of it's kind of developing a feel, but because that, that line isn't going to, in most cases, thunk and go slack like in shallower water. Got him coming? Got him coming. I don't know if he's a real big one. Uh, it's something at the end of the line, that counts. Yeah, he's, you know, I know he's gonna hear me talking bad about him and burn off about 100 yards. Here we go, color. color. Yep. Shelf an Amberjack. Beautiful. <laughs> Not a monster, but. Here you go. Thank you. Back in. What do you think? I'm liking it. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, now it's acting like an AJ. You betting an Amberjack? I'm betting an Amberjack. All I didn't right. think so at first, but... Talk about a fun fish. You want to pull on something there. They're, yeah, I mean, they're great fish. <laughs> if it is an AJ, you can have the next drop. I'd be happy to. So after making a few passes and catching a few amberjack, we decided we had the weather in our favor. Let's make the long run west of Key West. And, and that's just a little guy, George. And he gave, he gave everything he was worth. In 300 feet of water. We headed west to capitalize on some yellowtail snapper. And the theory here was that the farther you get away from the population centers, the yellowtailing should be rather exceptional. You gotta remember back in the day when we were limited with small outboard engines that were undependable, going west of Key West, way west of Key West, or northwest up into the Gulf was a huge adventure. But as our whole marine industry has progressed to today's standards where you're fishing these large center consoles, combined with the electronics, which are just so deadly accurate, 
Making a 30, 35 mile run west of Key West, you don't even break a sweat doing that. So what used to be far away places are now within arm's length of these fast boats. George Bob Rolls World of Saltwater Fishing is proudly being brought to you by Penn, let the battle begin. Mako, you'll find them where the fish are. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's, your adventure starts here. Mercury Marine, go boldly. We'll be right back. The anticipation of catching quality sized yellowtails encouraged us to run a good ways west to Key West in the Florida Keys. While waiting on the tails to rise into the chump slick, Mark Schmidt decided to drop a live pinfish to the bottom. So we went well west of Key West to a spot that's not a, a secret spot or anything, it's fairly well known. And uh, once we got there, traversed it, looked, kind of tried to see what our current conditions were, and, and marked a nice shot of fish. So I decided that we got great conditions here, everything looks good, let's throw the anchor, let's give it a shot and see what happens. All right, I'm All right there. So you got a bit slammed because you're right on the, on the meat. Mark sends down a live pinfish. Gets down to the bottom, gets dumped, starts whining and pumping for all he's worth, has a great fight on his hands. What you got coming our way? I don't know what we got here, George. I know it's in your way. I'll try to back this out a little bit if he I He hit could. the uh, knocker rig with a pinfish. I... What'd you get? Is that hey. a grouper? Oh, I think it's going to be a mutton. Mr. Mutt. Oh, oh, big, big mangy. Oh, Woo! My yeah, baby. Mark, I'm seeing this thing come up through the depths. I'll take that every day. The size of this oh, monster, man. Yeah, man, I love those. We get that fish in a boat, and we admire that. It was a beauty of a snapper. So we thought it's going to be a great mangrove snapper bite, and what a super start. That's a fat mangrove, George. Awesome class mangrove. Yep. Knocker rig, live pinfish. Looking good. I just let's hope go, he has some neighbors. Let's go get another. Yellowtail? Yep, I think so. Nice job. Let's double up. Oh, I got a runner, Mark. Oh, no. Oh, come on. You don't have far to go to beat me. Yeah, this one's acting the same. Oh no, this is a nice yellowtail. Come on over here, I'll let this guy go. I'll get the uh, net. How about, yeah, a rod. All right, here we go. That's a nice tail. Flags. All right, brother. You got that monster snappers figured out, don't you? Well, for this second I do, but you know how that goes. <laughs> I thought That's we gotta have a double up. I'd come mine up from the bottom real That's fast as I could. I just think, That's yeah, beautiful. if that Mark Schmidt, uh, that subtlety. That's got to be it. That's well, we'll compare it. notes here because we're doing everything different. You're using a jig. I'm free lining a small live bait on top. We have different kind of bottom rigs below. So Two, your uh, side of the boat is doing rather well so far. Well, so far. It's early yet. Even though Mark and I are good buddies, we had that little friendly competition between us. He was getting the bites super fast after he made an adjustment. Show off. <laughs> oh. And he's catching fish, and I'm thinking I've got the same setup, and I'm not catching fish. I'm so confident in you, I'm gonna get the net. I got color. That's a jumbo tail. Whoa. Oh. Stay with me, George, stay with me. It's coming Ooh. in the boat. <laughs> I got it in the boat. <laughs> Later, I found out that he definitely had scaled down to the 12. You know, knowing Mark, I could tell when he's trying to uh, you know, throw the uh, the bowl around a little bit. In all the craziness of rigging and everything, we we're going through discussions. We had the 12 pound pure mono outfit for the tails. We were talking about leaders, and and he said, I, I like 24 here. I put a little thing of 20 on. I can't buy a buy, and I'm going, while you get these things, you just tied straight to the 12. Well, maybe, you know. Well, thanks for letting yeah, me know. No problem. I'll open the box you know, for you, because I'm, do that, I'm you that do kind that? of guy. You're good. <laughs> Actually, I think I said I prefer 20 if I could get away with it. Oh, okay. That's what I said, but I didn't, I didn't read the disclaimer. You know, but in the small print. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I caught on to that and definitely made the change, and all of a sudden, both of us were bending those rods. That rod tip worked for you, you know? Big tail, too. Look at the size of this. Nice fish. It's a turbo tail. It's a turbo. <laughs> you know, they have flags and all that. How about this being a turbo? 
I'll tell you, quality fish back there. Now, did you have a split on that, or is this? I put a split shot, and I went to very small, uh, an, a, a, a circle hook, because mm -hmm. I figured the circle is going to latch. If it does the job, and the outside of the jaw leaves the eye of the hook out, so you can go straight to 12, and not worry about him swallowing and frame with his teeth. George Pogoromo's World of Saltwater Fishing is proudly being brought to you by Simrad, the new Simrad NSS Evo 3S chart plotter. The best just got better. Rapala Coastal, another great day. Suffix, always use the best line. Starbright Boat Care Products, blending technology and performance since 1973. We'll be right back. Key West has tons of tourist attractions down here. There's no shortage for things to do if you decide to take the day off. One place I wholeheartedly recommend, that's the Papa's Pilar Rum Distillery. As a longtime connoisseur of rum, I have to heartily recommend the Papa's Pilar Tour because not only is it educational and they, they go through the history of the Hemingway family and all that, but you can see how the rum is distilled, the various stages it goes through, and you, the best part is you get to taste it when you're done. And they have a tasting bar where you could sample some of the more popular Papa's Pilar blends. So the, the, definitely the Papa's Pilar rum tour is something that is, is an excellent thing to do. A special treat is the Hogfish Grill. Hogfish Grill has a wide and varied menu, but one of the specialties, if you had a good day of fishing, bring your fish to them, and they could cook it up several different ways. That's what they're known for. They do everything really good here, but when they drop a platter of fish, be it fried, blackened, grilled, it's pretty amazing. Add in the uh, open atmosphere, the uh, color and character of the place, it is without a doubt a place that you have to have dinner at at least once when you're down here. The Hogfish Grill, it's an institution on Stock Island, and uh, without a doubt, if you're coming for dinner, make sure you get there on the early side. As far as baits, a uh, number of them. You can use silver sides, free line and back, pieces of shrimp, play a ballyhoo, but one of my all-time favorites is little pieces of bonita. The bonita is tough, it, it hangs on the hook, you can get multiple bites without losing your, your bait. So by dropping down, it was the 12-pound test fluorocarbon that got the bites, and then also tying the hooks straight to the 12-pound test monofilament was the ticket to get these fish to feed aggressively. And there's some hogs back there, George. And you just, we put another one up to the tally. He's a criminal size. He's a nice. like Bahama Pretty size fish. yellow. Like yeah. the outline of the Bahama Pretty size. Fish, yeah. or, they, or like to say, fabulous Florida Keys yellowtail, the flag. They are. Well, the, what defines a flag? You hear everybody use that term loosely. Well, we got a bunch of flag yellowtail. What defines a flag yellowtail? Just large, yellow over, you know, 15, 16 inches, I guess. Be I mean, a flag? That's a flag. No kidding, yeah. So That's why I asked you. Yeah, well, yeah. so if you catch them as big as that, you can say they're flags. That's all right. <laughs> I, I don't want that fish. <laughs> Is there any time of the year where you tend to see the big ones, or is it pretty much? Well, I mean, I like it when the water's cooler, you know, overall. But yeah, I mean, that that one. Hold on, I'll come right at. You. Here, you want me to swing him in? All right, here, let me. Oh, just... let's get the net, Mark. That's too big. Here, George. I'll just I'll just handle him, okay? okay as does. long as you got him on the right side of the yeah. boat. I can't. Uh... All right, I guess you're going to want me to get yours on net. I guess I'll get this off so I can get yours. I don't want to get yelled at. It's always yeah. bad to get on your bad side during a fishing trip. <laughs> Who told you that? Rumor has it. And there's my beauty right here. You, you ready? You want me to get that net? If you could do it, I, I guess could not. Do it. I could, if you could do it, I could do it too. We were shocked at the size of these yellowtail. I mean, they were, they were big time yellowtail that you don't, usually don't see in, maybe in the wintertime or but these were big yellowtail, and this was gonna be a really fun day. Oh, big tail, look at them up on the top there, another jumbo. I'm gonna have to walk them around, Mark, coming All around right, you. Yeah. These weren't the small yellowtails. They weren't the medium-sized yellowtails. These were just oversized flag yellowtails. Every single one that we would hook up and we brought in a boat were monsters. Jumbo tail. Hi, uh, oh, Mark, you see Key West. One of the popular spots in the Florida Keys. I mean, you get a lot of pressure because there's so many things to do, but you still catch easily quality-sized fish like that. What, what, what's one of the secrets? 
I mean, running farther west, or what do you think? Well, I mean, it depends upon what time of year it is and how you know how hard the fish have been hit and you know where you know where on the reef they've been concentrated. So I'll, you know, I don't think there's a cut and dry answer to that. But, uh -huh. You know, you know, obviously we came west to Key West and found just fabulous conditions. I mean. You know, current, we like the current trickling west like this, you know, we're, we're in, I mean, it's just, it's been great, you know, the fish, but we had great conditions other, you know, closer to yeah. Key West and marked a bunch of fish and didn't do so well. So, so you gotta, I know, you ask yourself that question, yeah. well, what is it? And then the sooner or later, you, they have to turn on. Well, and, it, and, but we also weren't with a, bu a huge bunch of people, you know, so I don't know. One of the mysteries of fishing. George's Tackle Locker. Brought to you by King Sailfish, the pioneer of catch and release mounts. Visit kingsailfish.com. King Sailfish pioneered the release mount concept where it's not necessary to kill a fish to have it mounted. Their attention to detail is second to none with popular offshore game fish the likes of sailfish, marlin, swordfish, tuna, wahoo and dolphin, and inshore favorites such as tarpon, snook, redfish, striped bass, and flute. However, King Selfish covers the full range of saltwater species like triple tail, yellowtail snapper, groupers, tilefish, sheep's head, sea trout, and countless others. They even do freshwater species. If you're looking to mount that impressive catch, simply measure its overall length, take a picture or two, set it free, and call in the measurements to King Selfish mounts. The result, a lifelike replica complete with any unique markings, blemishes, or hues. The realism is also achieved through downturned eyes, internal mouth features, gills, slits, and vents. Mercury performance stats, Key West, Florida Keys, Yellowtails. Power, triple Mercury Verado, 400 horsepower outboards. Speed, 48 miles per hour. Total miles, 110. Total fuel burn, 120 gallons. George Boker almost world of saltwater fishing is proudly being brought to you by the Florida Keys and Key West, come as you are. ACR, the leader in marine safety electronics. Papa's Pilar artesian crafted rum. Order yours today at papaspilar.com. Float On, the original aluminum immersible boat trailer. King Sailfish, the pioneer of catch and release mounts. Visit kingsailfish.com. The run well west to Key West in the Florida Keys certainly paid off. Mark Schmidt and I got in Yellowtails in impressive fashion. Well, thanks to a super good bite of large Yellowtail, uh, Mark Schmidt and I had an incredible day. Uh, so we made it back to the Perry and a uh, successful day of fishing. And then of course, at that point in time, um, I guess you could say the fun begins. We back in, we pour ourselves a uh, good Papa's Pilar rum and cola, and it's fish cleaning time. And one of the things that uh, I like to do is fillet these yellowtail, and some of them I'll leave the skin on so I can put them on the grill and marinate them in certain sauces. Some of them I'll fillet, take the skin off and, and make fingers of, or you can do by the sides. Some of the most beautiful yellowtails will later translate into some fantastic dining. Down in Key West, been keeping a boat at the Stock Island Marina Village. It's a large 288 slip marina it's a one-two punch combination in that you have the marina and the marina abuts the Perry Hotel. Now the Perry Hotel, as I like to explain it, was a find that I discovered a number of years back. It's actually on Stock Island. It's a little bit more on the quiet side. It's a modern resort that is actually even expanded with more rooms. You have your choice of two pools. There are a few restaurants. If you want to hang out by the marina, there's a salty oyster, which serves an excellent lunch, as well as a quick dinner. You have Matt Stock Island Kitchen, which is their anchor restaurant located upstairs in the Perry. They have a wide selection of fresh seafood. And best of all, when you're done with the whole dining experience and you're ready to fish again the next day, you go right up to your room, get a good night's rest. You go downstairs, walk out to your boat, jump in, fire it up, and go fish. I always look forward to fishing with George. It, it was great, we haven't yellowtailed together that much. We had a great day, a phenomenal day of yellowtailing. It was always great. You know, we've been pressed our luck so much because virtually every time we get together in a boat, we have an excellent trip. Although we have been fishing together so many times that it's tough to try to figure out what I can do with George 
to, be, to do something different, something we haven't done together, or something maybe he hasn't done. And this particular trip, I can tell you what, the fishing was nothing short of sensational for some of the large shellotails I've seen in a long, long time off of Key West. But hey, you're talking Key West in the fabulous Florida Keys. You know, that has come to be expected in this fishery and it proves itself time and time again. So once again, another great trip with Mark Schmidt off of Key West in the Florida Keys. If you'd like to keep up with our fishing adventures, please follow me on Instagram. I'm at George Poveromo. On Facebook, I'm at facebook.com forward slash george.poveromo. And you can view our episodes at any time on our YouTube channel, George Poveromo TV. We'll see you out on the water.